Hello again, how's it going guys? There's not a lot of gardening going to be done this weekend but that's okay, it gives me a chance to catch up on a couple of tags that have come my way um, one from Marie Curry who tagged me asking me what I read, what I watch and what I do and we'll get to that one later but uh, first off I've been tagged by Prairie Plank Girl to give five gardening tips in five minutes for a more productive and enjoyable growing season. Let's crack on. All right, so tip number one. In the productive garden, start with high yield vegetables and build from there. What I mean by this is start by growing vegetables that produce a high yield. Things like lettuce, tomatoes and onions they don't require a lot of space and they do give a lot of goodies in return. Things like melons, winter squash and pumpkins, I know that they're fun to grow but they take up a whole lot of space and productively we use them in a very different way. So focus on your go-to vegetables first and then if you've got a bit of time and a bit of space, go and have some fun with the other stuff. Tip number two, automate watering at home. Remember that if you plant it, you've got to water it. And this especially applies to people with lots of hanging baskets, pots and containers. Automating the watering is a lot easier and less expensive than it sounds. Watering takes a lot of time when it's done by hand. And so by using soaker hoses, drip systems and sprinklers, you can spend some of that time enjoying a summer drink or two. Now if you've got water timers, then set them to come on during the night or first thing in the morning, and that'll help prevent evaporation. The automation of watering can reduce a lot of stress during the hot and dry periods of summer. Trust me. All right, the chances are that many of you are as guilty as I am for this next one. And that is we grab a packet of seeds, we tear the top off and we sow half of them. And then what we do is we fold the packet over a couple of times and we throw it back in the tin or we throw it back in the drawer. Then we, we're off to water in the seeds that we've just sown and we forget about this one here. Over the next few months what happens is we're rummaging around in the tin or the drawer and the next thing we know the bottom of the tin is completely covered in seeds and this thing has opened itself up and there's nothing left in there. It's a really simple fix. It's so simple, it's unreal. All we've got to do is keep a few paper clips in the bottom of the drawer or the bottom of the tin and then when we've sown the seeds, we fold it over a couple of times and we quite simply just pop on the paper clip. It's that easy. Now we can throw it in there and we can rummage around in here for our magic beans or whatever seeds it is over the next decade or so. And guess what? This packet will stay intact. This is probably one of the best tips I have. Tip number four, keep your herbs close to home. Grow your herbs as close to the kitchen as you possibly can. You're more likely to use them when they're within easy reach. And according to chef Mrs. Coleman, for many dishes, fresh herbs are essential. Even if it means growing them on a balcony or in a kitchen window, keep them close and use them often. And tip number five, keep notes. Those of us that make YouTube videos know that it's a great way of keeping a record of the things you do and the times that you do them. But videos are not, keep a log of the things you grow, how well they've done and make notes to self throughout the growing season. And come the next season, you'll appreciate the input. Well, they are my five tips in five minutes for a more productive and enjoyable growing season. And so on to the next tag. And the next tag is from Marie Curry, and she wants to know what is it that I read, what is it that I watch, and what is it that I do? 
let's take a look what do I read um not a lot in this day and age to tell you the honest truth most of my reading time is restricted to the man toilet which is tucked away downstairs here and it's full of things like seed catalogs and these irreverent comics that I get from the UK every now and then and gardening books maybe one or two music books something like that but I would say the last thing the last book I read was probably a biography of Rolling Stones guitarist Ronnie Wood and the last novel I read was probably 1984 by George Orwell and I didn't read that until the mid 1990s but that's still a long time ago <sighs> what I've done is like many people I've substituted my book reading time with internet surfing time um, that time had to come from somewhere so in this day and age I don't read too many books at all but I do surf the net a lot. And what is it that I watch? Uh, aside from gardening videos on YouTube, I do like to watch music videos on YouTube. And when I say music videos, I don't mean like official music videos. I like to watch some guy in his shed with an acoustic guitar trying to do an acoustic version of a ginger baker drum solo or a couple of scotsmen with ukuleles doing a cover version of gary newman's our friends electric it sounds stupid but these things do exist and i do enjoy watching them aside from that i would say that about 75 to 90 percent of what i watch is english premiership football or champions league football i'm a huge fan of the game i'm a big leicester city supporter and yeah, the last few years have been pretty good for us, but it hasn't always been that way. And uh, yeah, a lot of the time I spend watching football. Other stuff, I don't know, let's just go over some of the stuff I watched over Christmas. Over Christmas, uh, Doctor Who, I uh, just watched the second episode of Spyfall. I'm a big fan of Doctor Who. I just watched the new version of Dracula by Mark Gattis. Uh, I really, really enjoyed that. That was a little bit of an odd take. And uh, what else did I watch? You know what I just saw? I really enjoyed it. Mackenzie Crook's version of Wurzel Gummidge. Uh, uh, I've only seen two episodes. Maybe there's only two episodes out there. I don't know. Really did enjoy that. In fact, I'm a big fan of Mackenzie Crook. I really liked his last series, Detectorist. But anyway, on the whole, what I watch is mostly football. And what is it that I do? Uh, Hobby-wise, I like to play a bit of guitar and sing. I'm not very good, but I do enjoy it. Um, I played football all my life. I played well into my 50s. I only stopped playing about a year or so ago. And then uh, work-wise, I've been doing the same job now for 40 years in two different countries. And... Uh, it's in metal casting. I work in the foundry and I was at work a little while back and I did take a little bit of footage of what I do. I'm not going to bore you with that bit of footage now, but I will leave a link to it down below. It's only a couple of minutes long and I really would appreciate it if you were to click on the link and leave a comment. Anyway, that's about it for now. Big thanks to Prairie Plant Girl. Big thanks to Marie Curry. I'm not going to tag anybody. Do you know what? I am going to tag somebody. I am going to tag Terry King on the five gardening tips in five minutes. And the only reason I'm going to tag him is because I want to see him make a video that's only five minutes long. <laughs> Aside from that, I am not sure when the next video is going to be. But right now, I think it's time for a beer, and until that next time, cheers.